Hi kids, it's Matthew Romaine, the laughter tainer here to help you put together a special puppet, a pop-up puppet, and it looks something like this. It's made out of a cup and a sock and a few other things that we have in our kit. There's some pom-poms, some felt to cut things out of, a couple of rubber bands, some safety pins, a straight pin, different googly eyes, so you have a choice. There's a styrofoam ball and a stick. We've got some little circles of Velcro. There's some string or yarn that you can use for hair. And we'll put them all together and make a terrific puppet. You've got just about everything you need in the kit, except you'll need some scissors and it would be a good idea to get some tape. I think you'll need that too. So we'll take a piece of that felt that's there and uh, we'll cut out some hands for our puppet. That's a good way to begin. I can fold the felt here and you can draw some hands, some arms with hands at the ends of them, or you can just cut it out without drawing like I'm doing here. There we are. I'm making some mitten shaped hands and they should look pretty good. There we are. I put both pieces of felt together and so it made two of them at the same time. And that's what we want. One for one side and one for the other. You'll also want your hair to be handy. And if you have a piece of string like this, you can untangle it and put it back together so that you have a few strands of hair. You can double it over. That'll look pretty good. Or you can use some of the other stuff. You may have something like this in your kit. That makes good hair. Well, let's attach things. Now, normally when I would have a puppet put together like this, I would use my trusty glue gun and stick everything together with hot glue. But this is a steam activity. So we are going to treat it as an opportunity to find out different ways to attach materials to each other. So no glue guns. Hmm, how are we going to do that? Well, let's begin by attaching our hair. We're going to put it right at the tip of the sock and you'll put your hand inside and be ready to pinch the hair. I'll use this one and I'll put it right in the middle and I'll pinch it and then I will pull it through. Well, there it is on the inside pinched. I'll take one of my safety pins, open it up and be ready to put it right through the sock and I can feel it going right through the hair that I pinched in there. I close up the safety pin and guess what? When I turn it around back the right way, there's my hair all pinned into place right where it belongs. The safety pin attached it. Not bad. Let's do the same thing with the hands. We've got our hands. I'll put it in place. I'll pinch it where I want it to stay. Somewhere about there because we need space for a head right about here. So that looks like a good spot for the hand. I'm pinching it with my fingers inside the sock and I'll turn it around, still pinching. And there it is. You can even see the orange felt peeking through the holes in the sock. I'll take one of my safety pins, pin it through the sock and through the felt. I feel it going through both of them. You see how it's pinning it in? I'll close up my safety pin now and what will happen when we turn it right way out? Why, there's our hand just waiting for us right where it belongs, pinned into place. Who needs a glue gun? We'll put the other hand on the other side in the exact same way. Now that we have our hands pinned where we want them, let's prepare the cup. Now the cup has a bottom. And we're going to cut a hole in the bottom. Not a small hole, a big hole. We'll use our scissors for that and just press it, make a hole with the scissors, and then you can snip. Snip, 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 and make lots of pizza slices. And then you can rip the slices right out. You see this? The pizza slices that I'm making there, they can be torn right out or you can use your scissors and snip them out. And when you're finished, 
you'll have a nice cup with a big hole in the bottom all ready for your puppet. Now let's take a look at the ball and the stick. Normally I would make a hole with my stick, just poke it right in there, not too far, and pull it back out. And then I would put some hot glue in the hole and push the stick and it would harden and stay in there. But we're not using hot glue today, so how will we make a stick stay inside the hole? Well, I've got an idea for you. We can use a piece of our tape. It doesn't have to be a long piece, it's about that long. Here's what you do. Put it onto the end of the stick and then start rolling it on. Rolling it, rolling it, it's getting shorter and shorter. You see there? Now I've rolled it on there uh, maybe about three or four times and then I stop and I roll it the other way. Look at that, when I roll it back the other way, what happens? Why, it's rolling on, but this time the outside of the tape is sticky. Aha, now we have a good piece of lumpy sticky tape all ready to put into the hole. Let's see what happens when we do that. Put it in there, will it stay? Why, by gosh, it stays. And we didn't need a glue gun. Don't pull too hard. It's not as good as glue, but it does the trick. You ready for the next part? Let's attach our sock to our cup. That's easy to do. Open up the sock, nice and big, and stretch it right onto your cup. It should stay there all by itself. You can pull it off just a little bit there. Look at that. Let's take the stick with the ball on it and put it inside, push it all the way past the hands, all the way to the top. Well, it's starting to look like something. Now we need to make a neck. Let's see, what can we use? Ah, didn't we see some rubber bands in our kit? Well, sure we did. Now it might be a little bit big, but haha, <laughs> you know the trick of how to make it smaller. You will stretch it and turn it, fold it so that it becomes smaller, right? You've turned one rubber band almost into two rubber bands by folding it. We can put it now on top of the head and doesn't it just make a good neck for us? I'll pull the hair out of there or maybe you like the hair stuck in there. You're the artist, you decide. There we are. The rubber band makes a nice neck for us, doesn't it? Now it's time to put some eyes on there. How are we going to stick our googly eye onto our puppet. Wait a minute, didn't we see some circles of Velcro in there? Sure we did. Those Velcro circles, you know what Velcro is, is picky and it clings on to things. These are peel and stick dots of Velcro. If you peel it off there, you can stick it onto the back of your googly eye. Look at that, it fits just nicely. Velcro on one side, googly eye on the other. Is it going to make a good eye for our puppet? Let's find out. Push it on, give it a wiggle, and does it ever stay? Look at that. Let's put the other googly eye on, right next to the first one. Put it on, give it a good push and a good wiggle. Doesn't that look good? How about a nose? You remember those pom-poms? Sure. Which one? Green? purple, I don't know, there are lots in there. There's a yellow one, there's a tiny green one. I kind of like this, uh, this green one here. To stick it on, we're not gonna use hot glue. I saw a straight pin in there. Straight pin looks like that. And we want it to uh, go right into the middle of this pom-pom, right through it. You gotta be careful, because you don't want to pick yourself. It's not the end of the world if you pick yourself, but you don't want to do it. Look at that. We have a nice pom-pom with a pin on it. And of course, you know where that's going to go, right into our styrofoam ball that's behind our sock. We can push it right in. Doesn't that look good? Now we can fluff the nose out a little bit and hide the pin a little bit. There we go. Careful, don't pick the nose too much. Oh, pick the nose. <laughs> How about a mouth? Well, We've got more of this uh, felt, don't we? There was quite a bit, but we don't need too much. Why not just snip off another piece and make kind of a clown mouth? 
You know how clown mouths go. They're kind of happy looking. And hmm, maybe we could get a pencil or a pen or even a marker. I happen to have one. And we can draw a nice smile on there like that. That's kind of a clowny mouth or maybe a different shape. There was one more Velcro dot on there and I'm going to stick it to the back of my clowny mouth. And now it will go just underneath the nose. And here's our smiley clowny mouth. Why this looks great. I think our clowny pop-up puppet is just about ready to play with, don't you? Mm-hmm. Try using your clown puppet with this little poem about the clown puppet. I'll say it and you move your puppet. It goes like this. Have you seen the little clown? Let's look for him. Look up. Look down. Look in the cup. There's something there. I think I see his clowny hair. The little clown, he likes to hide. See him peeking from inside. He peeks to the left. He peeks to the right. Then hides again, right out of sight. Slowly, slowly, now he grows and grows and grows and grows and grows all the way up out of his cup. He tilts to the left. He tilts to the right and jumps up and down with all his might. He turns his head as far as it goes. Now the other way. See, it twists his clothes. He, now he jiggles to the left and he jiggles to the right. <laughs> the clown is laughing with delight. He feels happy. He feels admired. <gasps> but now the clown is feeling tired. Slowly, slowly sinking down, he yawns, our sleepy little clown. One more peek to the left, to the right. Goodbye, dear clown. Sleep well. Good night. <laughs>